Thousands are fleeing for safety as the battle in Ukraine continues. This afternoon, we're following up with one Ukrainian who lives in our area. His family was once trying to escape, but now they've had a change of heart. Ashley Hendricks has that part of our team coverage. When we last spoke to Alex Misiets, he was desperately roommate. searching for safe uh, passage for his mother and grandmother. Now things have changed. The initial state of panic, which lasted for about two to three days, uh, gave way to the state of hope, the state of anger, the state of willing to fight and defend. The land. For the past several days, Alex has struggled to teach his math students at VCU, knowing that his 68-year-old mother is determined to help her country. She's not going to the front lines, and luckily the front lines haven't got to my town yet. His hometown, Kriminchuk, is about four hours from the capital city, Kiev. Anticipating more troops will move in, his mother is helping local self-defense units by finding glass bottles in the trash to make Molotov cocktails. So that the people throw them at tanks when the tanks go into my town. The people are getting ready for that. Meanwhile, international organizations like Direct Relief have crews on the ground in Ukraine offering medical support to refugees and those who are staying to fight. And we are in the midst of uh, getting a shipment of medical backpacks, which are used by mobile medical providers to uh, provide field care uh, to people that would be impacted by the war. Alex now only wishing he could be alongside his family, fighting for their country together. Proud of her. I was very proud of her. I, I realized that this country will never surrender. I was very proud of her. On your side, Ashley Hendricks, NBC 12 News. All right, Ashley.